It was strange actually because um, <clears throat> I, this was like 1970 and I got myself a, a Bonneville and uh, I met a friend called uh, Nigel Weymouth. He, he said, come round for dinner. I went round there and the dinner wasn't cooked so he said, um, oh, we'll go to this uh, vegetarian restaurant. I pulled a face and everything and had a fight with my girlfriend and then what happens, uh, went up to the restaurant, went in there and there was uh, Mark. No, I didn't know Mark from anybody, from Adam. And uh, Nigel introduced me and said, oh, this is Mark. And uh, met June, sat down. This is Mark, oh, great. She was doing Deborah and everything. And we got chatting and everything. And Mark said he was having a terrible hustle trying to find somebody to play percussion and everything. And Nigel was pushing me, saying, oh, you know, don't. I said, no, 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 I didn't really want to do it. And then he, uh, the waiter came along and uh, it was brown rice with brown rice and vegetables with brown rice. And uh, next thing I know, Mark turned up, 10 o'clock in the morning, really keen, with his cloak, you know, and his bally shoes, full of high spirits, right on the nose, came up, and we just played and jammed for about three hours, drank lots of coffee, joked and laughed, and just took off. And then we went to Wales. And, uh, I mean, I, I was going along, but I didn't know what was happening. I was just going along for the trip and, you know, a good time at the time. And uh, before I knew where I was, I was on stage, you know what I mean? What happened somewhere? I'm sitting on stage playing. It was about two o'clock in the morning and I was living in Chelsea. And uh, there was a knock at the door and there was Mark there with his acoustic guitar. And he said, I've got this, got this song, Ride right a White Swan. Rubbing eyes, what not? <laughs> Trying to wake up. Sat down. We sat in the kitchen, never forget, with a chest set. And we went through it. And it was lovely. I thought that was great. It was such a it was such a good feeling. You know, and I knew that. But you know, whether it'd make it, it felt good for us, but that is an important thing. If it feels good for you, I got a feeling it's gonna feel good for everybody else. Mm. You know, and then you know what happened then? Yeah. And I remember we did this um gig in Boston and it was Tyrannosaurus Rex, and we turned up very keen. Then, and was, I think it was a lady who was some stage manager, turned up and we both looked at her, and she said, ah, this is Tortoiseshell Rex, is it? You know, and everybody used to get the name inside out, outside in, and um, nobody actually could get round, get round the word, and it was better for kids, and it was, you know, it was like sending a cooking fat. We was in America, and my, Mark had ordered all these clothes to come over in a trunk, yeah? Uh, anyway, they arrived and back to the hotel, and Mark said, oh, I've got the trunk, and it's made by Akasura and everything. And he opened the trunk and all these things. And then he pulled out um, a zebra suit um, with a towel, you know? Ring. But the thing is, what they didn't do, they didn't cut the towel. And it was on the ground. So when he put it on, because Mark was very small, they forgot that, and the towel was there, and it was swinging about like this, yeah? Am I not sure? Yeah, true, yeah. Right. Anyway, it was his towel and his everything. And of course, everybody fell about, and I was laughing. And Mark turned and picked up his towel and put it under his arm, and he turned around and said to me, he said, well, that's show business. <laughs> and I still now, it just makes me laugh, man. You know, with that, that, that towel. And he was about two or three foot in the ground. Every time he walked around, he's knocking glasses off the thing, yeah? And that would be it. That would be it, yeah.